I heard one general say that if you want to say that Museveni is serious, he will not write. If he is serious on an issue, he will not write. Mm -hmm. He will go into the camera and give an order. Mm -hmm. So now here we can determine whether he is serious on the Balal question or not. Definitely, uh, President question, Museveni is not serious on the Balal. <laughs> I have a question from some guy called Dennis. He says, could you list uh, some characteristics of the Baralo, which language do, which language do they speak, such that we can trust them where they are coming from? Uh, maybe to respond to that, when the president went, the last time the president went to Northern Ghana and had a meeting in Okidi, mm. they brought to the president's attention three passports, Rwandese passports from the Baralo that got lost within that entire meeting. So it clearly tells you that the majority of the people are from Rwanda. And they speak Rwandese, Kenya Rwanda and the likes. Okay. Because there's also a difference. People, you see, I only learned this. I thought every person from Ankole is a Munyankole. Not until I went to Chiruwara and I learned the 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 Banyankole, the Bachiga, the the Bahima. So there's so, so so those are the things that people also need to integrate. You, you because there are people who are being crucified for no real yes. reason. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I that I've I I told these people one time I was in Gulu and a woman refused to sell me a time. And why? she said, I cannot sell you guys like you, people like you. Now that tells you that anger in the public. That's, why I, was, like that's why I was advocating. People like me. That's why I was saying, if, if, <laughs> if President like, Museveni... It was very racist, very, very bad. If President Museveni... And she felt comfortable doing if it. If President Museveni, if President Museveni sits comfortably and says Uganda is okay, then I will tell you Uganda is sitting on a time bomb. Yeah. Worst of all, for a sub-region like Acholi that has gone through war and you're trying to provoke public anger. People had come, people had, people had sort of but, started uh, to get to him. Olanya, well, I want you just to maybe answer this. Mm. Have you tried to address these folks that are bringing, because uh, even though you're talking about the Balalo, these Balalo cannot come out of the blue. Mm. They are working with people from your own, mm. your own people. Is there a way you are trying to talk to these people or... How are, how are you addressing the, local the fact leaders. that the local leaders are actually selling the okay. land? So one. If this person says, I'm, I've bought the land, it's mm. there, there is evidence. True. They one, 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 that's why I said this is systematic. This is a long-term genocide. This is a long-term plan. If you don't have a lens, a good lens to see beyond the headlines, you will not see. I told you clearly, 20 plus years in war, mm. you saw the war victims not be compensated. The Juba yeah. Code was... Never put into implementation. Uh, we were forcefully put into concentration camps. No one wanted to be in IDB camps. That was intended by the regime to destroy the family fabric. Mm. 